Hello, my name is Jasmine Davis, and today I will be going over my answers for page 179 to page 181 in my Practical Critical Thinking book. I would really appreciate it if you can give me any feedback on which ones I got incorrect. That will really help me out in understanding this. Okay, so number one reads, The weatherman said on the television that it is going to rain today. So, it will rain today. I put inductive, strong, true premises. I put yes. Key evidence ignore that requires a different conclusion. I put no, and then I put it's cogent. Okay, so number two, all Olympic gold medalists are amazing athletes. Missy Franklin and Allison Schmidt from the United States each won five gold medals in 2012 Summer Olympics. It follows that Missy Franklin and Allison Schmidt are amazing athletes. I put inductive, weak, True premises, yes, and then I put no, and then I put not cogent. Number three, Mark is an introvert. So Mark is a person who likes to be the life of the party, of every party. I put inductive, weak, true premises, no. Key evidence, ignored, that requires a different conclusion, yes, and then not, co not cogent. Number four, either Wookiees are large, hairy, primate-like creatures or Wookiees are frog dogs. <laughs> Wookiees are not frog dogs. Therefore, Wookiees are large, hairy, primate-like creatures. And I put deductive, valid, yes, and sound. Number five, Margaret Thatcher was the prime minister of Great Britain, so she must be a citizen of Ireland. I put inductive, weak, true premises, no. Key evidence ignored that requires a different conclusion, yes, and not cogent. Number six, since Martha Gellhorn, Mary Colvine, Christine Amapor, Amanpour, Janine Di Giovanni, Kate Addy, and all the other all the other people are all famous and accomplished war correspondents. And since they are all women, it follows that women can make excellent war correspondents. So I put deductive, valid, true premises, yes, and it's sound. Number seven, Sir Parr McCarthy claims the tune to yesterday was just there one morning in his head when he woke up after dreaming of it being played by a string ensemble. So the song probably did come to him in a dream. I put it's inductive, strong, true premises, yes, key, evidence ignore that requires a different conclusion, no, and cogent. That one I kind of need a little bit of help with. Number eight, the last four cherry pies I bought from Marie Callender's restaurants were fabulous. So the next cherry pie I will buy will be fabulous too. I wrote inductive, strong, true premises, yes. Key evidence ignored that requires a different conclusion, no, and cogent. All right, so that will complete this assignment. Please give me any feedback. This uh, assignment was a little bit more difficult for me to understand, so I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.